Hello, potato. It's time for Weekend Magic for June the 18th, 2022. And it's been a been a busy week for Shop Disney. We've had, what, three? Well, four if you count uh, the, the Mickey Mouse Man attraction. Four key releases alone this week. We had the, uh, the Hercules key on Monday. We had the Lilo and Stitch anniversary key on Thursday. Yesterday, we had the release of the Lightyear free with purchase key. And we had the next part, the what, the April? We're in April now, right? Yeah, the fourth part of Mickey Mouse, the main attraction, It's a Small World. Which I will say, I, I, have a, I changed my tactics this time. I did not try to use the website. I went straight to the app because the last couple months or last couple releases, it's, uh, you know, shunted me from the waiting room back into the app and then to another waiting room. And I, I decided to bypass that this time. I, I made sure I logged in good and early, put in the light year key, put in the free shipping code. And when seven o'clock rolled around, I was like 1500 in line. I was in in a couple minutes, in, got my keys, my pin, my plush, my ears, and checked out in like two minutes flat. It was a perfect release. We, we didn't get the backpack because my wife uh, didn't decide she wanted the backpack until like an hour later and it was sold out. But you know, Shop Disney re 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 puts these things up periodically, so just keep an eye on it. And if it comes available again, we'll grab it. Otherwise, it may be kind of like the Star Wars Camtano case where initially I decided I didn't want it because frankly, the pictures on Shop Disney for it weren't very good. And when I saw better pictures, it was it was sold out. But hopefully that's the thing that'll be available maybe next time we make it to the park, which is probably going to be a while. But hey, we've still got another week or two of videos from the park for my trip last month, so yay for that. So you know the last couple videos have been like just short two or three items? This is not one of those videos. We have a number of things this week uh, to, to look at, because aside from like the, the Mickey Mouse Man attraction and those key releases, we also had a series of Star Wars pins that released on Monday as well, with like no promotion at all. And then I think what, next week we have the Indiana Jones releases. I'm really interested to see what's gonna be in that. I think the 24th is a release for that one. And uh, I'm really interested to see what's gonna be in that. I'm hoping for some good stuff. I guess that my wallet's hoping for no good stuff, so I won't feel like I need to buy anything, but you know. If it's the stuff they have in the park currently, that's not gonna be a huge draw. I didn't buy any of it in the park, did I? But anyways, uh, it's enough rambling, I think. I think we have, we have a lot of things to get through here. Uh, and they're all small. So let's uh, let's go down there and look at them. So I was gonna do these in like chronological order, like the order I received them in. And then I realized like, they're all pins except for this, this one thing. So we're gonna jump a little out of order to do the thing that's not a pin first. And that is of course this. The Hercules 25th anniversary key yeah, came out on Monday, showed up at my doorstep yesterday. Good job, Disney. Also, you'll notice looking at the box, it showed up in like decent condition because they didn't put it in a plastic mailer this time. They put it in a box. Now, to some of the other things in the box, uh, that may not have been to exact benefit because it was a very large box for what was in there. But the key arrived in, I would say, basically perfect condition. I don't see any any dings on it at all. We have a price tag on it as if it were sold in Disney stores, as if there were still Disney stores, but uh, $15, I'm sure it's still available. And it's uh, nicely done in kind of a, kind of browns and golds and bronzes, evoking that ancient Greece feel to it. We've got, honestly, I've never been a fan of the Hercules movie. I, I bought the key because I buy the keys and I'm sort of a key completionist. Uh, but that, that's why I bought the key. I've never particularly actually liked this movie. I've enjoyed the Hercules segments in the Kingdom Hearts games, though. But not, not the movie itself so much. But yeah, we've got little, uh, little hieroglyph kind of things of Hercules and Pegasus. And... It's the same Megara, but I don't see her on there. And if I were more familiar with the movies, I, I could tell you more about this and what's on the teeth there. But I'm not, so I can't. But does say Hercules on the stem there, just in case you weren't sure what it was from. It's, it's a nice key, it's very brown. 
I, I think if you saw it from a distance, you could maybe be forgiven for thinking it's Lion King. But it's a nice key. No complaints about it. It's a key. I, I kind of, you know, I've realized when I ordered this, actually, what we haven't seen in a while is the obligatory key pin for a, like a year there, maybe more, almost two years, like 20 and 21. All the key releases came with key pins. And we even had a couple blind box sets of key pins of, of older keys that didn't have pins. And that, that seems to have stopped, doesn't it? I'm, I'm not complaining about that, honestly. It's, they, they were cute, but I mean, they were almost as much as the actual keys and yeah, that wasn't great. Yeah, I suppose by mentioning it now, I will have cursed us and they will come back. Maybe just another blind box set, which I will skip because Disney blind boxes and me don't get along. But the key is nice. Long live the key. All right, from here on out, it is all pins. We have reached the pinnacle of the weekend. It's a pinnacle of episodes. It's an episode almost entirely of pins. And we'll start with the oldest one. This one actually arrived well earlier in the week. And it's one that I mentioned in a previous video in the couple weeks ago when I did the, the Pride Key. I mentioned I would be ordering this pin possibly. And well, I did. It's probably the last Pride item I intend to buy this year. I mean, first of all, Pride is over half done. And, and second, I still wasn't that super impressed with the Pride merchandise this year from Shop Disney and Lego didn't have anything new. But I mean, after the Everyone is Awesome set, what else do you really need? And yeah, I did buy the Belong, Believe, Be Proud pin because I, it, it it does match the key nicely. And frankly, it's actually it's a nicer pin than I thought it would be. It's a little bigger than I thought it would be. And I didn't realize this when I ordered it. It's a spinner. Well, it sort of. Yeah, it rotates around. I don't know why. I don't know to what benefit. I don't know that it would even do that when you uh, are like wearing it. If you're wearing it. I mean, I won't be wearing it. It'll stay on this little backing card here. But it does, and that's kind of cool. It is a double pin back. It is uh, nice. I mean, no pin on pin. It's a fairly straightforward pin, but we do have that little rotating segment, which is nice. Yeah, we have the, the Blong Believe. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do more merchandise with that. Like, I know maybe there were, maybe there were, maybe there were shirts. I don't look at the shirts and sweatshirts and hats and and such because I would never wear such things because. I pretty much just wear black, gray, and blue. But yeah, as far as I, I didn't see, I don't recall seeing more merchandise with uh, the slogan on it. But the pin is nice. It is, it's a good, sturdy, solid, proper pin. And uh, it has words on it. To learn more about the Walt Disney Company's giving in support of LGBTQ plus communities, visit TWDPrideCollection.com. Yeah, you know, I mean, rainbow washing and all. Uh, also, let's not forget that the the creators of the Lightyear movie had to fight to have a like two second scene of two women kissing, women in a committed relationship, giving a, a loving peck to each other in their movie. So, eh, I'm not sure how much credit you think you deserve here, Disney, but it's a nice pin. Our, our next pin is the last one that is diverges from the theme of the ones that will follow it. And I'm gonna be honest, I only ordered it because I wanted the free shipping. If I was figuring I was gonna spend that extra little bit of money, might as well get a pin instead of paying to ship. So I ordered uh, this, which I think came out, I think towards the end of last week. It is the Thor Love and Thunder pin. I was I was stormed in ordering this and the Miss Marvel pin because I'm actually quite enjoying the Miss Marvel series. But I went with Thor Love and Thunder because I did like the fact they had Thor and Mighty Thor on it. And um, yeah, so I've got some pin on pin going here. The Love and Thunder logo is a separate piece, double pin back, and as tends to be with the Marvel pins, not a Mickey pin, not a not a pin trading pin. I I, I can. Still would love to know why the Marvel pins aren't pin trading when everything else that Disney seems to put out is. Even, you know, even some pin trading stuff occasionally at Box Lunch now. But yeah, not, not Marvel. No pin trading for you, Marvel. It's a nice pin though. The artwork of Thor and Mighty Thor are nice. We have Mjolnir, we have, 
We can't really see what Thor is holding, but judging by the handle, I'm guessing that's Stormbreaker. And, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not really in love with the fact that all the pins now say, like, Marvel Studios on them. I mean, do are they afraid we'll be confused with some other version of Thor or Miss Marvel that Marvel Studios written on it? Or, like, we'll confuse them with the comic book versions? Maybe that's it. Maybe they don't want them confused with the comic book versions. Maybe there's some licensing thing with the characters from the comic book versus the characters from the films. That, that actually sounds totally plausible, like the whole Funko bobblehead issue for, like, Marvel and Star Wars stuff. But it's a nice pin. The backing card's also nice. Kind of gives you a little bit of a better view of the characters. And, you know, it's a nice break from kind of the plain backing cards you get with a lot of, a lot of the Disney pins. All right. From here on out, all of our pins have come from a galaxy far, far away. Yes, they are all Star Wars, and they're all actually anniversaries of one form of, of well, one of two anniversaries. I'll say anniversaries of one sort or another, but there's, there's really actually only two anniversaries. Of course, Star Wars turns 45 this year, and to, I want to say celebrate, but let's, let's be honest, to capitalize on that, Disney released a trio of Star Wars pins on Monday. Uh, at the same time that they released the, uh, the the Hercules key. And the first one we'll look at is this one. Now, I made that comment about the key, how the key came through really nice, but maybe being in the big box wasn't to the benefit of everything. And, um, yeah, this would be what I'm talking about. The card on a couple of these pins is a little, little messed up. Also, Mickey backs, because they're not Marvel. But I really like the fact they have this, like, this nice pewter... I think, they said, I think the website described them as Closon. I have no idea how to actually pronounce that. If it's a word I've only ever seen written, never heard spoken. But it looks very pewter to me, which is uh, appeals to me. I've mentioned before that I like pewter things because, you know, I came up in the 90s when pewter little figurines were like a deal, a thing, a, a thing you could go to the flea market and buy, or even like at the Crystal Hut at the mall and buy. And so this kind of pewter look of these Star Wars pins really appealed to me. And here we have a pin of Darth Vader in his TIE Fighter from the original Star Wars. I guess the backing is just kind of the uh, the interior of the TIE Fighter, like what you see behind him in the, the the trench run sequence. Has the Star Wars 45 logo on it. And it's a nice, nice solid, heavy pin. Uh, it's only single layer, but it's not flat. It's, it's nicely carved. It's a good kind of a, like a relief thing going on here. I don't know how well it shows on camera, I know if I turn it too much to the side, it just kind of goes black, but it's very nice. I do like them. It's a, it's a, it's kind of a weird art style, I think, but I really do ultimately like the way it looks. We've seen the villain. Now let's check out the heroes here on this Star Wars 40th anniversary limited release pin. And it of course is the crew of the Millennium Falcon. You've got Luke, no, you don't. That's Han Solo. That's Luke. You got Chewie. You got Obi-Wan Kenobi. You, you notice we don't have Princess Leia, but I guess this is probably from before they've actually rescued her. Also, no C-3PO or R2-D2, but there's only some people you can fit on a pin, right? And you do see some control panels in the back, though. I would imagine just like Smuggler's Run, but I didn't actually get to write on that. So, uh, I will have to imagine. Or indeed, watch one of the 5,000 YouTube videos of people who did get to write on it. This one's a little bit, seems a little bit thicker to me. I think they've, to like make the, the 45th logo stand out on the front here, they've made this portion of it really thick. And again, got the, that nice pewter look. At least to me, it looks like pewter. Again, the website refers to it as Closon, like C-L-O-I-S-O-N-N-E. Certainly sounds, fr or looks French to me. I have no idea what it sounds like. Because again, I've only ever seen it written. But it's a nice pin, kind of you know, carved out in relief. Single layer, but just, uh, just nicely sculpted. And again, I mean, I could see these like large scale as like a piece of wall art or something, you know? Very nice. And then just kind of like a nice dark gray, which also appeals to the, uh, the dark pit of my heart. All right, so there's one more of those pins that they released on Monday, and that is this one. The Star Wars 45th logo itself. And this one's not all in gray. This one actually is two layers. You have uh, this kind of pewter, presumably close on 
piece on the front and this kind of coppery brass background coin looking thing here to, uh, to just uh, kind of make the gray pop a little bit more. But you may have noticed it when I was handling it. It's a little bit more to it than may first appear because it's not just the Star Wars logo on this like brassy background. It actually slides up to reveal may the force be with you. Yep, that is quite nice. And when it arrived, when I actually got out of the box, I didn't realize when I ordered it, it was a slide pin. Uh, I, I think on the website it shows it just like this, and I thought that's just how the pin was. I didn't, you know, when I got it, it was like kind of this in the package and had to nudge it free. But uh, that's actually kind of nicer. I'm sure if I looked at all the pictures on the website, it would have shown me it this way as well. Or I could just be misremembering the whole thing and I only saw it like this. And, uh, you know, remembering something from five days ago is just too much for me to manage. But yeah, nice. Again, it's just the Star Wars 45 logo carved into it and the little stars themselves also stand out from their backing. It's a nice, dignified, otherwise fairly basic pin. Now, those may have been the only three pins released on Monday for Star Wars, but a few weeks ago, D23 also released some Star Wars anniversary pins. And uh, we'll look at one of those now with this, the 45 Years of Star Wars Limited Edition 1977 pin. And uh, it's pretty good size, double pin back, Mickey pin. I don't, I don't, I kind of doubt these are still available. LE of less than 2000. They're probably gone by now. I want to say we ordered these towards the end of May. I think like the, like the Monday after we came back from Disneyland uh, is when these released. But it's nice, kind of golden haired Luke standing in front of the homestead. You can see the two sons of Tatooine in the background. You can see a water evaporator. Just a nice, again, a nice dignified pin. A little more flashy, a little more colorful than those uh, those those pewtery ones, but still nice and dignified. And um, it just, even though we ordered this, you know, it's D23. So when you order things from them, you expect it to be like at least a month till they show up. And even though we ordered this, like, again, I think like the last week of May, they arrived yesterday at the same time as the stuff I ordered on Monday. But it's, uh, it's a nice pin. Check it out, 40th anniversary. Maybe, maybe not quite so, I don't know, stoic. I think maybe stoic was the word I was looking for, as those uh, those gray ones, but still nice. Flashy, but not too flashy. Now, Star Wars, the original movie, is not the only thing celebrating the anniversary this year. If you jump ahead about 10 years, you also find yourself at the, the same year that the first Star Wars ride opened at Disneyland. And that, of course, would be Star Tours. Yep, D23 had some Star Tours 35th anniversary pins. This one, of course, is my favorite late of the ride captain, Captain Rex. It's your first flight. Well, it's his too. Love the little guy. Love my little Black Series figure him. I, I still, maybe next time I go to Disneyland, probably will buy that big, that big animated speaker of him as DJ Rex. But yeah, love me some Captain Rex. Again, it's similar style to that Star Wars 45th pin, a little flashy, says Star Tours 35 years. It is, uh, he's even got his little, what was it, pull before flight, I think is what that says. I can't read that, remove, yeah, remove before flight. It's got the little remove before flight tag on him, just like he had on the ride. Gotta love Rex, I'm, I miss him. I, I you know, I, I did go on Star Tours when we were at Disneyland, and um, it's just not the same without Rex. It's a, uh, it's just. I mean, C three PO is nice. The uh, the new graphics are nice. The kind of mix and match method of uh, storytelling on it is nice, especially when they don't mix up timelines and have you dealing with both Darth Vader and Finn. But it's a, uh, I miss. I wish they kept at least one simulator with the original film and Rex. But these are limited edition of 1987, so there's a hundred more of them, no, not a hundred more, 10 more of them to try to get than there were the Star Wars one. And again, probably gone by now, but I've got mine, so yay. 
But it wasn't just Captain Rex they released on that Monday a month or so ago. They released another Star Tours pin, again, to commemorate the original Star Tours, not so much the Star Tours, the Journey Continues thing that they got going now. And that would be this one. The Lightspeed to Endor pin, showing everyone's favorite Star Cruiser with the and the Star Tours logo, 35 years, just the, the cruiser speeding off, going into light speed to Endor, like Rex used to yell on the ride. It's, it's a pin for old people like myself who remember the original Star Tours and, uh, and, and maybe don't look at the current version quite so fondly. And again, like those other two pins, shiny silver uh, highlights. I mean, admittedly, the, of course, the Star Wars one had gold highlights. This one's much more silvery highlighting, but it's uh, still quite nice. Limited edition 1987 as well. Double pin back, Mickey pin. Lovely, lovely stuff. And there we go. My weekend has indeed reached its pinnacle with not one, not two, not three, but seven, seven new pins added to the collection at one time, plus a key from a movie I'm honestly not that interested in, but it's a key gotta have cues. But that is going to wrap us up for this week. Yep, a little longer than the last couple weeks. Hopefully won't be making a habit of that. My, my wallet especially hopes we won't be making a habit of that. But we do have, uh, maybe next week we'll be getting that Mickey Mouse stuff. So uh, hopefully that'll be next week's video. If not, there, there are other keys and stuff that were ordered. So maybe we'll do those instead. But that wraps us up for this week. I hope you found this at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment as to which one of these pins is your favorite. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.